Hello, it's Caroline at For the Love of Crochet, and I have lots of goodies to share with you, not just some hot chicks. So we'll stick around. Um, by the way, if you are new here, I've seen a lot of um, recent subscribers. Thank you so much. And if you like any of this or get any ideas, I would love it if you could hit that like button. Okay, so let's start with the chicks. Let's start with the little one first. So I really like this color. And these are two yarns that I, actually I take that back. It's one yarn and I believe it was a Charisma yarn, Loops and Threads or Charisma. Yeah, so cute. I am just having so much fun with this pattern because I can just grab any heavyweight yarn. This is just a five weight yarn and know that I can do X amount of rows and then set it aside and then I'll just build. I'll build and build and build and I'll have a bunch of chicks ready to stuff and have eyes in this added to it. So this is the first one. This pattern is just so rewarding and my next two came out the same because I used two yarns together because I didn't have like a six or seven weight. I only had two five weights and I decided to see how it came out. I did it. <laughs> now this is a boucle yarn mixed with this, with this yarn. So I used a boucle to get this, well, it was darker as you can see, but when I mixed it with the boucle, it has such a cool coloring effect. So here's my little, my little hat chicks. Here is the boucle and it is also a, actually it's yarn lane, whatever that is, cozy boucle, yarn lane. Oh, it is loops and threads. Okay. I see the symbol now. So I mixed this one with this yarn that I had. I used it all up in these two, these three chicks. So I have these ones. I love these. And then I decided to use even a bigger yarn, one of those furry yarns. Let's see that one. Okay, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Now this was quite the challenge and you can't even see her eyes and I have tried to cut the fur away. You can see this one, but oh my gosh, does this feel amazing? Yeah, there you are. You can see her eyes just, it's hidden in there. And then if the fur, just like if you were to pet something, the fur goes back and forth. Oh, it's, this feels so magnificent. I just love the way this came out. I love it. Now I used this yarn and it is also by Loops and Threads Faux Fur. And this is the color. I don't know. It doesn't say. It doesn't give me a color. It just says eight article. I don't know what color, but it is a creamy color. Now, now I made this and this will not be enough to make another one. So if you buy one, you can only make one probably. However, in the process of making this, I found out that this comes apart and it has four or three, three strands. So if you wanted to take it apart, you could make, you can add one strand to maybe another yarn and give it just that slightly furriness to it or feathery look. So this unravels to three and I would definitely like to try that. So pretty to mix it with another yarn to make another chicken. So I may do that. But what I was thinking I was going to do, if you join me for Deck the Halls collab, I made some Christmas stockings. And instead of having this plain up here, I was thinking of adding this this here but now that I'm putting it together I don't think it's a good color for it I think I need white 
So that was an idea that I had, but putting them together, I don't think it will be, maybe, I mean, it might look great, but that was my idea. And then for the red um, part of the chicken, I used this Bernat Softy Baby along with um, some yarn I have gotten from Cassandra, which um, is like a four or five weight. I mixed them together just to give it a little more a little more thickness because I thought it was too little with just one strand so I wanted to make it with two strands and they're two different shades so one's darker and one's brighter so those are the chickens but folks I have some more feathered friends to share with you and before I show them to you real quick to this month is my mother's um, birthday month and she's been gone five years now and so I've kind of been missing her a lot and so I decided to start picking up green because it was her favorite color and I believe green is um, also the birth month the birthstone of August so for this month I've been making things that have green in them or incorporating green and this next feathered friend are have some green <laughs> she flew to me and, and lost her hat I'll just show you without the the hat to her little green bonnet okay I saw this pattern on Etsy it is very expensive but it was something that I saw and I just immediately had to make bought it did not wait for a discount did not wait for a sale and usually that's my mo is i will like and add it to my cart and wait a while because i have plenty to crochet <laughs> but this one i was like i want to make it and i want it to go with my chickens so i added it and i do love it now this yarn is not Premier Parfait. This is the big twist version of, of the thick yarns like that. But this is Premier Parfait Chunky. Okay, and then the back has even a little ducky tail. And I really like this pattern. Although I was confused on some parts, okay? It wasn't very clear to me the the arms how to sew on the arms you this isn't a beginner friendly pattern even though it looks like it is so not beginner friendly everything is crocheted on except the feet that's the only thing that you sew on everything else is crocheted on which provides a bit of a challenge for maybe a new crocheter um unless you have some experience and you want to go for it and go buy pictures and you think you can get it. I was a little bit turned around, but menopause has a way of perimenopause because it's not menopause until you stop your cycle. But <laughs> I have total brain fog. And so, but I, I do like the pattern. I do love the way this little girl came out. Let's try her hat. I accidentally placed the eye in uh, wrong. One is higher, just a smidge. Uh, so here's her little green bonnet. Love that little detail. I, I would think I would like to make it even a little more curvier. But she's so cute. And my mom loved the color green. And she was, and actually they called her Ducky when she was young. So I dearly miss her and I'm dedicating a lot of projects to try and include as much green as I can or accent it. So there's the first one. <laughs> well, she didn't lose her stuff. Okay, so this one is actually the first one I made. And so I struggled with this one. This is the, the other one. I like the way that it, I like the colors, but this one I don't, um, I use the yellow for the beak, but then pink for the feet. And I think if I used yellow, maybe it would look a little better. And then the pattern comes with the bonnet or the head wrap. And I really love the head wrap. Now, um, 
she's a little wobbly, but it's also okay because even if she wobbles, she still looks adorable. Um, and then here's her little ducky tail. So yes, this is the first one I made and this wool, this one is wool. Which one do you like better? This one or this one? So, um, the Bernat blanket, I don't, I don't like working with Bernat blanket. I really prefer this one or Premier Parfait, but I do like the way this one came out better. Um, also, if you do get this pattern and spend mega bucks on it, um, so I didn't know, it says to sew the feet from here to here, right? But it actually looks cuter if the top is not sewn down, which is what I did with this one. And I left it to where the feet kind of like they're flippers and they're off the body. But this one, it says to sew them down, and so I sewed them all the way around. And I, I like the detail of them being able to flip up a little. So if you do that, keep in mind that, um, how you want his feet to look, if you want that part to be able to stick out a little. So these are my flocky friends, my little duckies with green. So cute. I just saw the pattern and I had to get it, had, had to have it. Aren't I used for that? So here's that Bernat blanket, the Premier Parfait and the Big Twist. This is a wool I got as part of my, um, in July, a big box that I got from Glenda. Thank you so much. And then this is the Simply, Karen Simply Party yarn that has that sparkle in it. So those are all the yarns that I used for my duckies. By the way, Nodding Hook, Robin, if you're watching this, I still have your pink Premier Parfait Chunky. If you want it, it's yours. So those two fit in the hen house, but I'm not sure this one will. Oh, they do. Ooh the hen house is almost full with lots of hot chicks. <laughs> Oh, I just love it. I just love it. Okay, so I saved this next project for last, and this is what kicked off my August crochet with green to represent my mom um, um, month. And just leading off of Christmas in July and Deck the Halls collab, I still had a little bit of Christmas spirit in me, and I had... Noel, the Christmas mouse pattern. So I decided to hook that up. And he's adorable. He's so adorable. I just love it. I did um, put the feet on wrong. <laughs> They're supposed to be like this, you know, but oh well. They're both this way. <laughs> I just love how he came out. Now, this is the same green that I got from Glenda, which is that wool. And then this was a, I couldn't tell you actually, it was just a dark gray yarn that has that heathered look to it. And I used one of those noses because we never do. <laughs> and then this, this yarn, I love this yarn with the gold in it. I forgot the name, but that is what I used for the cream parts. And then to add a little more sparkle, I used this bejeweled sequin yarn bee in the pom pom here just to give it more sparkle and more gold. So he is Noel, the Christmas mouse. And this is for my, this is for my mother. Super pretty, super cute. I'm so happy with this. I love it. So if you still have your mom 
give her a call, give her a hug, because I sure wish I could. So I have quite a few whips on my hook currently, but I'm just going to show you one, and that is the Hexadaisy Cow. I'm so excited about this one because I'm using like 12 to 15 different colors. And here are my latest two editions. This beautiful blue. Oh, I just love it. I just love how this is coming out. That is my latest edition. And this bright, I think it's called Spring Green. So those are my latest two. And then just to recap, the dark blue, the light blue. This is going to be so cool because I never use blue. And that's a teal. And this one I believe is called pistachio. And then this one, I don't know the name of it, but it's kind of bright. I love this burnt orange looking color. But this one steals the cake. I think this is my absolute favorite color. And then this pink will blow your mind. <laughs> This is like Barbie pink. And then love the claret too. That is gorgeous. I did not continue with the half hexes because I decided to finish them. And then the last one is this gorgeous grape, which is coming out darker on camera than it really is maybe. No, right there is about its color. So gorgeous. So can you imagine all of these together in a blanket? I'm so excited. That's the Hexa Daisy Cow by Mima Makes Designs, and it's currently running. And you could probably even catch up. Um, we're, I think, got three more weeks before we start connecting, I think. Um, so yeah, and I can complete each color in about two hours, you know, during a movie. But anyway, moving on, I'm really excited to see that come together. Um, so now all I have left are my half hexes to make. Now, I recently picked up this scheme, and if you've been watching me for a while, I tore my whole room apart looking for this. Turns out it was in a wrong box and um, this is Hobby Lobby's Mandala string 3.5 ounces 350 yards and it is in the color beets um, I, I started to work this up because granny square day is coming and I have an idea in mind of what I want to make for it but I went ahead and started it and I really loved the way that it was coming out but the transitions weren't fast enough for me and there's still a lot more purple to go. So I just wanted to show you that this is really cool. I, I want to maybe, I think I'm gonna keep going or maybe I'll turn it into an amigurumi. <laughs> By the way, I do have a bear on my hook and a bunny on my hook that I'm really anxious to share. And my bunny will have some green. So very excited. So I just wanted to show you that. And also my glue gun that I got. Um, what is this brand? We are memory keepers. We are memory keepers. The one that I was like so glad and so happy and love the setup and the compartments. It took a dump. It's just not working. The glue's not coming out. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. The birthday um, blessings keep coming um, from my sons and my daughter in love. <laughs> they got me some wonderful editions of books, lighting. Oh gosh, but I'll show you that another time uh, when they pop up. But I just want to give you a quick, I went to Dollar Tree and I found some new yarn. These are the colors. There was one more color that was like a wine, but it wasn't a wine color I liked. It was more on the burgundy side, so I didn't get it. But they are, um, of course, Crafters 
square I thought they were premier they say crafters square and they look like a two weight three weight yarn very thin very thin uh, so I don't think it says what weight it is it's it just says princess yarn 100% acrylic 2.1 ounces and 410 yards new yarn at my Dollar Tree they had one other color um, so I got this purple white they don't say the colors do they there's no color names but this one's black and then there's two shades of green more of a forest and more of a bright very beautiful um, so yes these are some new yarns at Dollar Tree go and check out your Dollar Tree maybe they've popped up when you're a neighborhood uh, some other Dollar Tree finds for your crochet craft cart I found these spring clips now these aren't new but you can definitely use these clips to clip on the side of your cart maybe a pattern maybe um, a project bag because not only do they have the grip part they have a magnet on the back they don't have a magnet on the back but they seem really strong like it's very tight to open this so it could hold your project bag and it's a pretty color if you get the rose gold crochet craft cart bonnie <laughs> If you want to remove lint and hairs and stuff I don't know if this is new to you but if you pick up a lint roller especially if you go to craft markets take this with you to clean up anything as you're putting it out great thing to have you could also just use masking tape wrap it around your hand and maybe not masking tape scotch tape also found this beads which I'm thinking of incorporating with my Christmas stuff so I did find these lovely thick strand of wood beads and then if you have always wanted to make a crochet zipper bag or zipper pouch I may have a solution for you without sewing I found these at my Hobby Lobby and they, they have these all the time I see them. So there's this size which is in white and it's $2.99. It's a seven inch zipper. Well, you don't need, all you do is use, in fact, this right here would be a perfect size and your needle that you used for that would fit perfectly in these holes so you can just crochet in the round and then you'll have a zipper top just saying okay that I found these when I was looking for the zipper for my Christmas pillow that I made with that glorious yarn okay and then I found this size much bigger more like a project bag this is 14 inches and again it has those holes that you can crochet into so I bought these when I give this a try <laughs> so that is currently what I'm hooking up this week I have granny square on the brain hexadaisy cal coming up and then I have a bunny on my hook and a bear on my hook that I'm really anxious to share well, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for spending time with me and let me know if you found any of this interesting or inspiring and thank you so much for watching. Go and give your mama a hug. Bye.